Hello dear children. Good afternoon everyone. And once again welcome back you all to the online classes. So you know that now we have started the last chapter of your science book. So that is garbage in, garbage out. So already in the yesterday's class we have discussed about the different types of waste and how the waste will be disposed and in that landfills how it is separated so about that we have discussed in the previous class so there when the supply carpenters take the all the garbage from the domestic means uh, from the houses shops offices and all so there they dump all the waste in the landfill so this is the low lying area so that they and they when they dump in the landfills again they they divide this waste into useful and non useful again the waste is also useful so some of the useful components the useful component again they are divided into two types okay so see the waste can be in the landfills the waste can be divided into useful components and and another one is non useful components so useful components and non useful components this waste so waste means the garbage we can say the garbage okay the garbage which we have disposed so that garbage is converted into useful components and non useful components again these useful components again categorized into two types one is biodegradable biodegradable and non biodegradable non biodegradable so this useful component useful component is again divided into two categories one is biodegradable and another one is non biodegradable so biodegradable means they can be break down by the action of microorganisms and all so that they we convert uh, for example uh, we can say the kitchen waste such as the peels of vegetables and skins of some fruits and also the rice uh, and other than the oily substance so that that can be converted into the humus or we can say the manure so that can be break down by the some micro organisms and that we call as the biodegradable waste and that after the decomposition we can use this biodegradable waste as the manure in our farms okay the crop fields we can use and the non biodegradable waste such as uh, the plastics glasses and some metal objects and all so metal objects from the many parts of the computers or the, any other the radio parts so likewise or any machine parts so that will be thrown in the garbage sometime so they are the metal parts and uh, when the plastic bottles or some plastic uh, any objects which are made by the plastics so that and some glass uh, objects can be thrown so they are all separated here and they will send that to the manufacturing unit and there they can recycle so likewise we use we divide the useful components into biodegradable and non biodegradable waste and the non useful component so that is used to fill means uh, the 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 waste the garbage will be dumped in the low lying areas that we call as the landfills so these non non useful components from the garbage which they have separated so they will go on spreading in that low lying areas and they spread one layer of this non useful components and again they fill that means they cover that layer with the soil and likewise they are they go 
in appendix. It uh, this you have to remember. So these low lying areas, the landfills, what are there? And when they are uh, when they are level to the ground level, so that when they use this, they convert that into the playgrounds or the gardens and parks likewise. But they do not use these areas for construction of any buildings, and they are not good because the base will not uh, fit here properly. So that they uh, convert these areas only into the play playgrounds and the parks and all. So either it may take 20 years uh, or more than that. So they use like this. So uh, this is how we can uh, convert the garbage into uh, some of the useful things. Right? And now we can discuss about the vermi composting.
universal at this. So that we can discuss. So here the composting means here the bio, uh, some microorganisms will feed on the biodegradable waste and convert that into uh, the uh, humus like substance or we can say the manure. But here the process of composting organic waste into manure. So here also this vermicomposting is just a type of composting. Okay, this is one of the methods which we are using in the composting. So vermicomposting here when we are uh, converting the organic waste or the biodegradable waste into the manure. So there we use the we use some worms such as earthworms and there are different types of earthworms such as the redworms and all. So these worms are used to convert the organic waste into the manure or to the compost that we call as wormy composting. So the process of composting organic waste into manure with the help of worms. The process of composting organic matter organic matter or we can say the organic waste into manure with the help of with the help of worms with the help of worms is called wormy composting is called wormy composting so here in the process of composting this is also the wormy composting is also a composting method and here how can we define the wormy composting the process of composting organic waste into manure with the help with the help of worms is called wormy composting so this is what the definition you can take write down in your notebook so this is the vermi composting and now we can discuss in detail and how to prepare the manure by using this vermi composting method. Okay. Now we can discuss in detail about this. So vermi composting here already I said we use the, some worms such as here we use the earthworms. That too, in the earthworms also there are uh, different types of earthworms are there. So here we can use the type of earthworm called the redworms. We use the redworms here to compost or here in the process of converting the manure, uh, sorry, the organic waste into manure. So here we use the redworms and see how to uh, prepare this. The wormy composting process, process we can discuss now. So here what we have to do in the starting. So we have to dig a pit. So around 30 centimeters we can say you just dig in a ground you just dig around 30 centimeters. A pit of 30 centimeters deep. Okay. And later you just spread a net or you can uh, uh, just uh, you can uh, spread a fish mesh and all so we just uh, spread here ok the net so net you can spread here and later after this so after spreading a mesh of uh, wire or the net so alternatively if it requires you can just put a layer of sand here one, one or two centimeters layer of sand. If it is necessary, if it is required, it is the alternative. There is no compulsion to spread the sand. And then after this, so here you just uh, arrange the net here. And if it requires, you can just uh, put a layer 
take the vegetable waste, some kitchen waste. You can add the rice or you can take some uh, peels of the fruits or vegetables. You can take and the waste which is uh, there. So that you just spread on the layer of sand. And then uh, you can also use some other kitchen waste, waste also. But one thing you have to remember, you should not use the oily substance or any ghee, ghee, oil or some of the, uh, uh, such things. So we should not use because what happens when we use uh, such oily substances for this vermicomposting process, some harmful microorganisms may grow on that. So like fungi and all. So if they grow what happen, they will uh, make some harm to the worms which are there here. So microorganisms there means uh, some disease causing microorganisms will also grow. So that we are not able to get the well product. So that we should not add any oily substance or ghee. Ghee or oily substance likewise we should not use. Okay. So other than that you can use anything. So, and also you can spread some uh, sheets of paper, cardboard, so because which can be biodegradable. So, whatever we can use here, that should be biodegradable, we have to use. So, you can spread some papers, yes, because paper is made with the uh, plants, yes, by the plant parts we prepare the paper, so that this is the biodegradable and also the cardboard, yes, that is also made by the plants, so that we can use such kind of waste which is biodegradable but other than that we should not use it and don't use the polythene bags or plastic bags which are uh, some paper which is uh, means a layer of any shining uh, paper will be uh, attached to that or pasted to that so such kind of shining papers and all we should not use other than that the other papers we can use the normal papers and normal car sheets are the cardboard and but don't use the paper which is uh, made with or which is coated with some shiny uh, with any uh, other things and all, polythenes and all. So, uh, because they, it is not uh, allowed any air and uh, light to pass through it. Okay. And make sure that the light is also, uh, have light also have to fall on it. So, likewise we have to maintain. Because we have to maintain some temperature also here. Because if there is low temperature, if it is very low temperature, then also some uh, the organisms may die. Or uh, if the excess temperature is there, then also it is not good for this uh, arrangement. So we have to maintain some optimum temperatures here. And the whatever the sand layer or whatever we are using here, the vegetables and all, we should not press it. Just it should be loose. It should be loosely arranged so that the water and uh, the uh, some air can be passed through that. Because the organisms need water and always this need the water. Uh, moisture should be there so that we should uh, maintain all this. And so we have to uh, just we have such an arrangement that the organisms and these always can get some air and water. Sufficient amount of air and water should be there. Okay. And you can add some uh, cow dung also here. Some dung, animal dung you can add here. And then you can make uh, the layers like this. And then uh, here you can put some worms. Okay. Some red worms you can buy. Some farmers, they are rearing the red worms. And you can buy the uh, red worms by such farmers. And you just add here. And these red worms, they don't have a teeth, we know that. And even they don't have the bones. So they are made with the muscles. And other than teeth, they have uh, structures called gizzards. Okay. And these gizzards, 
bulk. So likewise they will be again they will be converted into the menu. And if you if you observe the pit after few days and every day you have to um, stir it because that the food should be made available to all these animals and every day you have to feed some food to these worms. And then after few uh, days if you observe the pit then you can see a black substance. The soil like substance you can see. So that we can say the manure. Okay. And this is what the vermi composting. And to take that manure already which is prepared. Just you can uh, put some food to these worms at the corner of the pit. And all the worms will move towards the food. And later you can collect the manure. And then you can um, again you can continue the process. So like this. By worming composting, we can prepare the man. Okay. And now we can discuss about how to throw the garbage. Okay. So now we can discuss think and throw. Yes. The worming composting, is it clear the process? Yes. I hope it is clear. And now we can discuss think and throw. So always whenever we are disposing or we are throwing some waste, we have to think before. Think and throw. Whether the waste, actually it is the waste what we are doing or we are purposely, we are producing the waste. So that we have to think first. So now I will say an incident of nano. Nano, he was the boy. So now what the incident I am going to explain. If you are also the same kind of Nano, you can think it is yourself and you just follow some wise methods to throw the waste. So here Nano was a student of 6th standard. So here he was having a bad habit. So he was living in a city area. So he has a bad habit that he always used to tear his pages the, in the books and uh, he used to make some uh, other the flies and all by using that and he be simply throwing that papers. Is it a good habit? Yes, it is not a good habit, right? So if you have such habits, please stop that. You have to act wisely because you are called the intelligent one. Right? And because of his Nanu's activities, her mother was very annoyed about him. And then uh, one fine day, he was he wanted to visit his the grandmother's village, the Nani. So there he packed all his bags and everything. And then after going to the village, they also he was doing the same thing and then one more brave boy was there, he was Shams. So he had a good habit that he always used the waste materials and he, he, with innovative and with creative ideas he used to prepare some good objects, some useful and decorative objects by using the waste papers and car sheets and all. So he used, he used to prepare the uh, some greetings. And also he used to prepare some art, some craft by that. And also he used to uh, prepare some diaries. Okay. So likewise he used to make some innovative, uh, some of the ideas, some innovative objects by using these all the waste. And there also, in that village also, this Nano has started his work only. So just tearing the papers and uh, uh, throwing here and there. So many times Sham also said, but he did not listen to anyone. He was such a naughty boy. And he started. And one fine day, his birthday was there. So there he went to the market and he buy all the things to his friends, uh, everything he brought. And this Sham, he prepared the mask using the waste papers and all. And also he, pre he uh, prepared some uh, greetings also by using the waste waste what the this nano or he tear the papers and all so by using that he made a very beautiful greeting and he presented to the nano and later the nano also started thinking that time so we are wasting so many things and by 
there in the villages, even he did not get the, uh, the polythene bags also. Even though the Shyam suggested to carry the cloth bag, so he did not. He asked for the polythene bag, but they, the polythene bags are they are banned. And sometimes in our uh, place areas also, it, it is going to be happen sometimes. So what happened? They banned the bags for few days. It will be taken place, and again we have started using them. So that should not be. Done. So we can, we can use the paper bags, so they are, they are the biodegradable one and also we can use the cloth bags, right? So likewise, if we, we, if we use, we can protect our environment, yes? So here, after all this, when Nanu went back to his city, so there we found many garbage, but the villages are very clear, clean and clear, so that they can get the fresh air and everything. Because when the garbages are dumped here and there recklessly, so what happens there? Some microorganisms, the disease causing microorganisms may go on that. So it will be harm to the environment and we are not getting the good help by all that when we are living in that area. So it should be very neat and clean. So now you also think if you are doing like such activities like none, just you can stop it. And you just try to use some waste materials. Think how to use the waste materials. Right? We can make any many crops, and we can for decorating our houses. We can use this waste. So think wisely and act accordingly. Okay. So with this, I will conclude my today's class. And in the next class, we can continue the next uh, aspects of this chapter. So I hope you have understood the vermi composting. So in the vermi composting, we use the organic waste, means the biodegradable waste, and that we can convert into uh, some useful components, okay, such as the manure, right? And you understood how to make the pits and how to uh, how to give the food to those worms and all. So and also you now understood how to throw the garbage, okay? So that think and do. So if it is the waste. Means the non-useful components you can throw, and if it is the useful component, just think. And if we, if it is possible to uh, make any objects, any useful objects by that waste, you can make into the useful one. Okay. So this is about our today's class, and with this, I will conclude my today's class. And if you have any doubts regarding this, you can contact me.